What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 8 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Blind Let's Play. We are on Route 2. In the last episode, we tried to find a Drifloon to complete the side quest in Haoli, and I, uh, I failed. I don't know, I battled a lot, and I felt like I should have seen one, but I did not. And I don't really want to spend too much more time doing that. Um, between uh, editing the last video and starting this one, I checked out the Festival Plaza. Uh, as you can see on the bottom screen here, there's a lot of menu items here, and I, I want to check some of them out. But I didn't want to do that on camera because I wasn't sure how great the content was going to be. Um, I, I recommend you guys go check it out. It's got some cool game sync features. You can hook up the game to, uh, to the internet. Um, Go ahead and do that at your own leisure. I, I don't want to show that really on the video. It, it's it's fun, but it's not it's not something for sharing. So for now, I'm going to get back to this. Uh, and we're going to keep going forward. Rotom's trying to talk to me, but I really would rather look at the map than listen to him speak. Uh, this is someone riding a Tauros, which is amazing. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, this person's telling me that TMs can help teach you moves. We already know that. Ooh, coming back this way is going to be exactly what we need in order to get that item that I saw earlier on the on the up ledge. But we got a Smeargle here. Not bad. Not bad. Let's add that to a Pokedex, huh? What level are you? Level 9? Uh, Low P is getting pretty strong. I don't really want to... I don't want to hit him with my hardest hitting attack. So I'm just going to go with a, a Disarming Voice, which shouldn't take him out. Brings him down to about half. He's got Sketch, and so he's going to learn Disarming Voice. Hmm. That's too bad. I, I don't know that I wanted him to learn that, actually. Um, but let's, um, let's throw a Pokeball at him now. I'm not sure that Pokeball will do it on its own. Might have needed a Great Ball. Might need to make him a little weaker. Maybe paralyze him or something. Yeah, he doesn't seem to want to stay in that at all. Ooh, but if he Disarming Voice, a special attack drops me. That would be good. He didn't, though. What else can I do? Pound is power 40. I think Disarming Voice is power 40. Uh, that did just barely over his... Uh, Aqua Jet is power 40. I, I feel like I'll kill him if I, if I do anything different. Um, what can I do here? I mean, I could just go... I could just go peck, 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 and hit him with the... Something kind of weak. Do a little bit of damage to him. Smeargle going for that disarming voice. Smeargle's a great Pokemon. Really good that they're offering it to you this early in the game. He's a great HM slave also, so... Uh, let's just hit him with a peck. Just a normal... Stab. Peck Peck's kind of a lower level. Shouldn't take him out. Brings him down to red zone. This should be good for catching. I'm feeling I'm feeling like a Pokeball will work here. I don't want to have to use Great Balls and Ultra Balls every time I see any Pokemon that I'm interested in catching. So let's just grab the... Really? See, this is kind of frustrating about what I'm trying to do... <laughs> I want to catch this and I want to share with you guys the experience of me catching all the new Pokemon that I'm playing with in Alola, but when it ends up taking five minutes just to get a catch, I don't know, it's like, it hurts the Let's Play, I think. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm curious, if you guys could give me some input in the comment section down below, let me know. Do you think, is this something you want me to kind of cut through, like cut through the battle sequences of remedial battles like this if I, i'm just trying to catch the smear goal i'm not trying to do anything special do you want to watch me do that or do you want me to just kind of cut it until after i've caught it let me know because uh that's an interesting it's an interesting prospect i feel like i don't want to cut too much out of the game but at the same time maybe it's right to do that in some circumstances we'll hop down there and there's the item it's a heal ball. Very cool. I like I like how heal balls look. Uh, the effect of them is meh, but I definitely like how they look. So heading up here, got a little big uh, big open area. A truck here. Item behind it. Super potion. Very cool. Very cool. 
We've got a door that we can enter here. So let's check out what's uh, what's going on in this building. This is someone's house, it looks like. He's gonna give me two nest balls. Good for good for him. He's like sighing a lot, and then he's like, got it. Like kind of kind of rude. Magnemite over in the corner that goes. Bzzz. Hmm. Another door here. So some people are just living out in Route 2, living the dream. Uh, what are you trying to... Nice model. Oh, this isn't like living. This is a uh, this is a hotel, it looks like. It's like a ranch-style B&B. &B. A little bed and breakfast. This person's got a swing on the side, though. This feels like a house to me. Good to recure to experience their own journeys, but someone got beat. Someone's bedroom. That's really awkward. Uh, I, I don't want to sleep on this person's bed. Thin layer of dust on a, all those bronze and silver trophies. And we got a book hanging out here. It's a photo album. That looked like a... It stood out like a sore thumb. I thought there was going to be something there, but there wasn't. There was not. So we got an event coming up here and a little kid tossing the ball around. This kid looks like a preschooler kid like tossing the ball like tossing it up and down like he's about to like threaten me like Hey yo, the Don sends his regards. Preschooler Caleb. Got the Pokeball up in the air. He's got a Spira. Okay. Now I know you're Mafiosa. This little Caleb kid tossing evil Spiros around at me. Level 8. Lil B's gonna make quick work of this fool. Water gun. Done. Finished. Finito. Okay, let's keep moving. A deli bird! No way! What? Is he literally trying to steal my back? No, he's just trying to guide me to the berry fields. Uh, Rotom says, is something going on in the berry fields? Get in there. I need my berry supply kept safe. And there's another deli bird and some, uh, like a team skull goon. You've got a bunch of lame berries. Now Team Skull's your adversaries. Taking berries off your hands is just the start of our plans. Yo. Let's get figgy with it. Watch while I nab me some berries. That is clever as F. Oh my goodness. I'll share my berries for free with any Pokemon. But you'll not take a single one from me. Oh my. He's rapping back at them. We're in the middle of a rap battle here, guys. So what? I'm lower than a Pokemon? I already got self-esteem issues, man. That doesn't rhyme. That doesn't rhyme. What are you looking at, huh? 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 Yo, hold up. You're... You got a bone to pick with us, homie? You and Cap may have beat us at the marina, but you won't be so lucky if we get serious, yo. I appreciate your concern, child. But these Team Skull punks ha do nothing but talk big and act small. You carry on with your island challenge. Don't give them a moment's notice. Yo, we're standing right here. At least act a little bit afraid of something, you know? This guy's even walking goony, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you trying to run away? We gonna have to take take your Pokemon along with the berries. Yo, check out how hard-headed Team Skull Grunts can be. Mmm. Is this a twofer? Double battle? First double battle? What do we got? No, we're just fighting one of them. Team Skull Grunt, what you got? Grimer. Drowsy. In a safari ball or a nest ball? Poplio's gonna make quick work of you, bro. Hate to be the bear berry of bad news. <laughs> got it. See, they're not the only ones that make clever puns. Oh, I forgot. Drowsy's got... Like, redonkulous special D, I think. Maybe Aqua Jet will do better. It's stab, same power, uses the attack stat instead. Yeah, that'll do it. It's a crit also, but I think it, I think it still would have done the job. 
Drowsy's got lousy defense. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. <laughs> okay, I love Team Skull. These guys are great. They got puns and rhymes for days. Yo, for real? You best stop trying to act hard, kid. Yo, I'm so annoyed right now, homie. Let's go mess with Ilima again. Aw, oh, yeah, let's do it. Verdant Cavern, pretty close by anyway. And you, you better listen to what my boy says and drill into that thick skull of yours for real. You best not forget, numbskull. Did he just call me a numbskull? That's really not, like, terminology I would have, I would have anticipated, like, 13-year-old grunts to be using. Oh, you and Poplio there did quite a number on him. Allow me to thank you for driving off those Team Skull Numbskull. He used Numbskull too? Come on. I don't want Oren Berries. I don't want them. I don't need it. Berg. Got more Oren Berries. There's still more berries. Got a Persim Berry. And another Persim Berry. I don't really want any of those. Uh, what do you think? Anything hidden back there? There is Silver Powder. Great. I forget what Silver Powder does. Maybe it's uh, powers up bug moves or something? I forget. There's Deli Birds everywhere in this room. I gotta watch Shady Penguin's Let's Play and see, uh, see what he's got going on. He must be freaking out seeing all those deli birds. So we got some dirt here, probably for planting more berries, which is good to know. However, I'm not really in the mood to be planting much right now, but I want to come see if there's an item tucked in the corners down here anywhere. Yes, there is. Big mushroom. Okay, very cool. So let's keep moving. This deli bird uh, that was tugging on my bag. What's he doing now? He left. He left. So I think I'm I'm all good with this area. That's the mafiosa kid right there. This is the berry fields. That's a that's a good location to know about. Trainer tips. Yeah, this is telling you don't steal Pokemon. That's great. And, uh, this is like a trainer battle. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's get it. Alola, what do you think? I'm pretty good at greetings, huh? I'm also great at Pokemon battles. I don't think you are. You're on Route 2. And you're talking things like Alola, which we learned in the first city. And you're a backpacker, just exploring the wilderness. You got a Cottony, though. That's kind of cool. I don't really have anything special. I mean, you resist my stab, so... Let's just stick with the disarming voice instead. It's gonna be a three hit KO. He's got the fairy wind going on. We can just exchange blow for blow here. I'm already faster. I don't know why it does the quick claw thing if I'm already gonna be faster. Tag me with that fairy wind and now let's finish this off with an aqua jet. Because who knows, maybe he's got a priority move too. I just don't want to... No point in messing with it. Men's dinging that 13 and trying to get Force Palm. Force Palm's a good move. Probably better choice than Arm Thrust. Um, could hit five times in a row, which would total 75 power. Uh, Force Palm is 60 and may paralyze. So I think I'd rather have that than Arm Thrust. I... I'm not a huge fan of those multi-hit moves unless you are guaranteed to hit him five with skill link ability. Oh no. Hmm. Little oh, shucks, huh? So we got a, we got attacked by this dark ominous being. It's an Alolan Rattata. And we're just gonna make quick work of this thing. Uh, but we're, we're learning together, because they said earlier that sometimes you get items when you when you beat these shady characters. So we're gonna hit him with that super effective. Uh, he lives on one and pops a focus energy. 
Now, Rattata does learn Quick Attack at a pretty low level, so I'm not going to mess around with letting him get a, a first attack off. I'm going to pop off a, an Aqua Jet first. And Rattata's going to faint. And I'd love an item if you got one for me. Uh, Mega Mogwai leveling up, getting Curse. Nah, I'm just, no interest in Curse. I swear they said that there was an item that they might give us, right? I'm not misremembering that, am I? We got a little side route here. Uh, looking to see whether or not there's an item up top. There is indeed. It's a revive. Very cool. I can hop down there. Uh, and this would just be the same as walking around over here. So I've got a trainer. We met Eyes. And he's looking for berries for his Pokemon to hold. Farmer John, Pokemon Breeder J. He's got a Butterfree. We got little P. Flying Bug. I don't have anything for super effective for this guy, so let's just hit him with a Water Gun. Little P's got to evolve soon. I'm not sure what level he'll evolve at, but it would be uh, it would be good. It's gonna take two water guns to do it anyway. Let's go for an Aqua Jet to see if this Butterfree's defense is lower. Uh, it looks to be about the same. And we'll just finish this off with another Aqua Jet. Take this Butterfree out. This is a fully evolved Pokemon, Butterfree is, so it should be a uh, relatively good experience for me here. 226, that'll ding, little P. Still rocking really similar attack and special attack values. But we are starting to see the special attack take a little bit of a higher hold. Ooh, I was wondering whether or not 17 would be the evolve level. So, Lopi's evolving. This is exciting, guys. I get to see... Because I, I already knew what the, the starters were, but I didn't know what their evolutions looked like. So, I'm super pumped for this. So Pop Leo evolves into, oh my god, this is exactly what, this is my moment. This is what I play blind Let's Plays for, this exact moment. Uh, okay. Brion, so <laughs> Lil P, now uh, Lil B. Brion. Or Brian, so it's like Brion. Bryony? Brian, there's two N's, so Brion. Brion. It's like brine, which is, uh, you know, salt water. Now, it's got fluffy ears. And the last time we saw Pokemon get kind of fluffy like that, Swablu and Altaria got Mega Altaria. It got Fairy-type, and I do have a lot of Fairy-type moves. I'm feeling like there's a Fairy-type element being added here. Definitely going the clown route with that nose, though. For sure. Still just water. Still just water type. It cares deeply for its companions. When its trainer is feeling down, it performs a cheery dance to try and help. That's cute. So, very cool. Um, got that bad boy evolved. Was there a thing to do down here in the corner? I feel like Lil P is just going to be uh, mopping the floor with some of these fools. Peck Peck grew to 13 and wants to learn Supersonic. Peck Peck's got a lot of uh, sound based moves it seems like. Echoed voice earlier. Uh, now we're learning Supersonic. So there is an area to the right here. It looks like a trainer battle. We're nearing the end of Route 2. Got a Miss Dravis. Miss Dravis are um, kind of defensive. Pretty defensive Pokemon. 
The thing I love about the starter Pokemon is their middle evolution is always that weird, like, teen angst style. Like, the not quite... Not, they don't look powerful yet. They look bigger than the really cute starters. But they don't look big and strong yet. They're just kind of... They're like on their way to the final design. But they look kind of weird. So Brion looks kind of weird. I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I know I know she's... Uh, I know he's going to be making some cool moves in a minute. I just gotta get to if if I evolved level one or the first stage evolution level seventeen. I'm feeling like I'll probably get to the next one, maybe at thirty six or something like that. Okay, so this is just gonna loop around back to where we were, and we see how here. How's it, Geo? Your Pokemon doing all right? Yeah, fine. I know my team's seen better days. That's for sure. Come on, Geo. Let's stop by the PMC. Pokemon Center? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't know that you call it Pokemon. You know that verdant ca cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't even allowed to go in it unless you're already on your island challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Geo, you lucky thing. Three revives. They are just stalking me up. Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle and can't go on, then Revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find Revives here. Did you know that Pokemarts sometimes sell different things? And not just that, two clerks on the counter even sell different things from one another. He's going to go to the cafe and pump himself up before his first trial. Alright, Hal. It's finally time to take on that Alima character. I'm tingling with excitement, is what he says. That's what the Rotom says. So I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon. My team is in a weird place. Um... I'm not a huge fan, really, of the Young Goose, but I want to see what it evolves into. Let's see what else is going on in here, if anyone has any items. Uh, he has a favor, so we got a side side quest here, it looks like. Uh, Cutifly on Route 3, and it seems like my hubby was totally smitten with it. We don't have them back home. Okay. So we gotta go to Route 3 and catch a cutie fly. And this is in the uh, PMC Route 2. Catch cutie fly. Route 3. Sounds good. And she'll pay me for her trouble. I hope it's not money. I keep saying that, but it's now 2 o'clock. I think it just has me on, because I'm off by an hour. If it's 2 o'clock is what it's trying to say, that means it's 2 a.m. It's actually 2 p.m., or it's 1 p.m. here now. So maybe it's, uh, maybe I have it on a.m. instead of p.m. or something. I don't know. Tapu Coco, that's clever. That is really clever. Pineapple juice and roserade tea. Let's get some Tapu Coco. I'm still not, I'm not fully aware of what the cafe's got going on. You'll love it, Ice, too. You can have Pokemon battles with your friends and people you don't know, blah, 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 lose track of time. I'm not really understanding the purpose of these cafes. Um, but we got some people we can talk to here. If we caught a Spearow, will you trade it for a Machop? I don't have a Spearow. But that's good to know. So, uh, key figures. Trade. Spiro for Machop. And that's in uh, the PMC Route 2. And we're just going to check here to see if they're selling any TMs or anything. Uh, super Potion, a couple of special balls. I like luxury balls, actually. I want to have a couple of those, but I don't need them right now. Uh, X attacks, and that person probably sells standard items. So I'm just going to head out on my merry little way. we got a guy here. Critical moves, hit for 50%. We know that. we got a little Corsola on the ground there. 
And it uh, looks like that's all that the PMC has to offer. I see some berries over by a tree in the side here. And that route is blocked off. That's a berry tree. Chesto berry, so now we can run Resto Chesto sets. Oran berry, 20 HP if we want to run little cut battles. And Lepa, uh, which I think heals PP of a move. Can't, can't really remember. Uh, but this is going to be the beginning of the trial, so I'm actually going to end the episode here. Uh, quick little 20-something minute episode, that's good. So definitely uh, let me know about that question I asked you earlier, guys. Do you want me to be skipping through some of those battles? I'm going to kind of play it by ear, see how I feel about it. I don't want to be over-editing my videos, but at the same time, I am curious about what makes for a better viewing pleasure for you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. So, as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. See you guys next time.